Now, when I was first brought in to the planning of this debate, I thought I might ask you all where you stood on the health care bill that was before Congress and whether you repealed it in the past. Now, thankfully, that's now a moot point. So what I do want to say is the Democrats are now saying they want to pare down the legislation and pass part of it, the parts that they think are popular. Uh, so my question for you is, what should we do about health care? What reforms, if any, are actually needed? And is there anything good from the current bill that you think deserves to be salvaged? We'll start with Michael McPadden. Okay, yeah, Michael McPadden. Um, well, first of all, it's not just Democrats. We have Republicans talking about redoing the health care bill. I don't have any, uh, I don't see where the federal government has any role in mandating any sort of health care reforms. We can do this via uh, free market reforms. There's a number of things that we can do. One, we can allow insurance companies to compete across state lines. Yeah. We have yeah. <laughs> low model insurance rates because we have companies from all across America able to compete against each other. And the ones that are managed the best and can offer the greatest uh, uh, value for a dollar are the ones that are succeeding and the ones that aren't are going out of business. Those are, those are free market reforms. We can a uh, absolutely uh, institute uh, tort reform. Uh, <laughs> Texas instituted tort reform within their state and immediately uh, uh, as malpractice insurance went down, doctors started to flood into Texas. There are, there are uh, uh, counties in Texas right now that have never had an OBGYN, and now they have one and two because doctors want to practice medicine in Texas because it is a friendlier environment, and just due to one law that they passed, tort reform. That's, that's two right there. There are many uh, free market reforms that we can institute. Great. Mr. Chairman. Ron Farron, and for those on the radio, if you like the previous answers, they were mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, if you get a really good question, you really want to be first because then you give all the really good answers. I would like to say that Mike was reading my papers, but he wasn't. Uh, absolutely. First of all, Democrats believe in incrementalism. Uh, it is on YouTube where both uh, Barney Frank and Obama said, whatever we get now, will be the stepping stones to ultimate full, full socialized third pair system health care. So that's the goal. If they have to step back and offer some band-aid to say, well, we, we succeeded in passing a health care bill, and this will be the increment, because the goal for them has never changed. And absolutely, uh, there, there, are th there are things we can do. I'm not saying that the, the, the health care system is perfect in our system, in, 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 our, uh, in our society. Uh, if you go to my website, you can see examples. Everybody has a health care story, I think. Either it was not affordable, it was in some way was not sufficient, but we do have the best. So we do need to make some fixes. The, uh, Mike, uh, I, I won't reiterate them because they were just very good. What we can do, the bottom line, though, is my philosophy in government is capitalism is the cure, and that's exactly what we're talking about, the cure health care. in any form cannot be passed because it's not just about health care. It's about the federal takeover of our country by using a, a, a nationwide program like health care to put enough jobs in place and have enough people on the tape so they can control the country on any other piece of legislation that you want. So they don't care what form of health care that they get. They just care that they get a nationalized health care program in. Now, to take care of what we have, there would need to be the tort reform that's mentioned to do to uh, get a handle on the trial, lawyer, trial lawyers, because tort reform would save billions of dollars. We do need to be able to have access to insurance across state lines to make uh, competition between the different insurance companies and so people can compete and choose what insurance they want. Another key area is fraud in our Medicaid and Medicare programs. That is uh, 60 some billion dollars of just wasted money that could be stopped. The laws are there, so we could remove the fraud from the process. And then competition between just doctors uh, themselves. What if we just did away with health care um, programs totally and let doctors put out there what their prices are, have a true free competition and free enterprise system for doctors with our health care? Yes, I recently signed a Club for Growth, repeal it, pledge to, abs to absolutely repeal, repeal 
health care. To be fair, I believe Michael did as well. Uh, the the health care system needs to move from a employer-based system with a limited amount of companies buying insurance to an open market system where tens of millions more Americans are competing for insurance. And many of the things that have been said before are, are very good. We need to be able to buy insurance across state lines to open up competition and reduce prices. We need to get the government out of mandating what has to be in an insurance program, which in some, in some states, like New York, drives up in insurance up to 80 percent. We need a serious and meaningful tort reform bill in this country. Doctors are working half a year just to pay their malpractice, uh, their malpractice insurance, and those costs are being passed down to the consumers. And we also need to, to do things such as uh, health care accounts and wellness programs. Free market principles will, will reduce the cost of health care and increase its accessibility. I want to uh, kind of revisit what Ron said, and when you're last in line here, all the good choices get taken up. Certainly, I would, I would be a supporter of all the things that have been mentioned before tort reform, but I think the original question was, assuming that it doesn't get passed, would I be in favor of some remodeled version of it? And I'd say absolutely not. We should throw out anything that they have and totally start over again with any kind of health reform that we want to have in this country. I know a little something about medical savings accounts. I've been selling those accounts. It's been a part of my business for a long time, so I understand how they work. And I didn't get time to finish my remarks in my opening remarks, but one of the things I wanted to say is that I'm not just talking about these things. I'm legislating these things right now, and I have been for the last 10 years. Just recently, I brought up to the Board of Supervisors an employer of 2,600 people that we need to move away from an employer-based system and go to a consumer-based system, as was just mentioned. And the way we do that, is the self-insurance we're putting in a single pool managed by the county. We need to move out there to the people and let them negotiate for their own health care. That's just one step in the right direction that we can do. There's a number of other things that can be done. We don't have to throw out the baby with the bathwater trying to revamp a very good health care system that we have in the United States. Let's just deal with those things that are problems in the system. Um, but on top of that, I want to say a couple of things is that, you know, I had the freedom of choice of not to get health coverage until I was 34 years old. Why? I chose to advance myself financially uh, before I was able to take insurance. That was a freedom of choice that I do not want to have taken away. Another thing that we can do to uh, save money substantially is to, again, shut the borders. Illegal immigration is a needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. Uh, th thank you.